Hey guys, Kimmel2 here, and today I'm going to be doing an overview of the new feature, which is being able to turn your artwork into done items. Now, there are a few things that you really need to know about these that I've noticed over the last few days. Is they can go anywhere from being worth a store item to be to being worth a headdress. Reason being is because depending on how good the artwork is, it goes up in value. So, if you get a really, really good animation of, like, let's say, a pari, that could be worth, like, a black long collar. However, if you're just getting something like one of my artworks, like this cat painting, yeah, you're not going to have too much luck. I'll give you ten tips to trading or paintings and or I'll give you 10 tips on using making anything that you could possibly do with paintings first thing I need to tell you is every painting is going to have a different tag and by tag I mean this glitch where it says wall items if I get out another painting if I get out another painting I have another painting here it hasn't loaded in yet this AJ is really slow. This is shop. This one is a shop to your den painting. Basically, that's what the paintings do. They're very glitchy. Now I'll give you an overview on how. Well, basically how it worked when I went trading. So I traded a rare fox hat. It was one of these orange ones. So I ended up getting another one for a really pretty waterfall painting. What she didn't realize is that was a mega under trade because she didn't know how fast paintings were going. Basically someone traded me a mech angel helmet um and a few other things that I probably and I tail a mech angel helmet someone traded me a mech angel helmet, a elf tail armor which I traded, um a rare fox hat which I traded and some other thing. Now I got this top hat from a fan. If you have, if you saw my previous video, you would know that. So I got one of these mechanical helmets. I got a fox hat, not this one. It was a pink one. Originally had it on this animal, but once I got the mechanical helmet, I put the mechanical helmet on here. Then later, I traded who knows what for another painting. Um, and then someone offered me this fox hat, this, that, that, for that painting. I mean, so I went on trading, got another painting, and then at one point someone traded me two mech angel helmets. And that was for the waterfall painting. Can you believe that someone would trade that much for just a painting? Well, that's how I got really rare in just two days. So it was like last night at 12 o'clock, and then today, at for basically the past two hours I've been trading. And I already got three Mech Angel helmets, which is a lot to get from purely just paintings. Three Mech Angel helmets. That's seriously a lot. Well, you guys need to remember, when you guys make paintings... Don't bother just wasting your two diamonds on just some random thing that you know you're not going to or use or put up and you know people aren't going to trade for it because it's just like a bunch of scribbly lines. Don't do that. Actually put some work into your painting and don't draw your own Animal Jam character because no one's going to want to trade for that. What you need to draw is like people like Apari, Wisteria Moon, Cats, Nyan Cat. The next one I'm going to do is Grumpy Cat. Currently, this one here is Toothless, and it's a really good drawing of Toothless, actually. This is the one that I made, I believe. Oh, it doesn't even tell you. Well, I made this one. This one's called Edit Den now. Wait, that totally just changed, right? If I, wait, if I go to Decorations and put this down, will it be called Decorations? Nope, now it's called Stop Food. Oh, I know how it works now. You get to choose a tag. If you want it to be called pet, scroll over. Pet. 
Yep, that's how you give it a name tag. So whenever you go in your inventory, go over your masterpiece and whatever it is that you want to call it. Let's see if I can manage to call it masterpiece. I know how to make it called masterpiece now. Dang it. Okay, so there's no way to make these things called masterpieces. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that little trading tip. Masterpieces are very good for trading, and I'm so happy for this update because I never used to trade before. This is what now got me into trading because I like these masterpieces, and it's really cool to see what other jammers have done. So, from these masterpieces, I will show you what I got again, and then this will give you trading tips on what masterpieces are worth but it has to be somewhat good it can't just be like random scribble lines or a really bad drawing of something that you can't even tell what it is or if it's just a phantom drawn with like circles those won't be worth any more than like a rare item monday but the better the quality is on the painting the the higher the price goes up and any paintings that you make that are high quality the best thing about this is you get to choose the price. Your painting, your price. And it's really good because you should at least get a rare item Monday for anything because it costed two diamonds, okay? It costs two diamonds to make a masterpiece. So, anyway, I'll show you what I got again. And at the end, after trading away, like, the tail armor and stuff, the total number of things I got based on masterpieces, some, I'll even list some of the stuff that I traded away. Is fluffy fox head, rocker hair, leather mask, rocker jacket, three mecha angel helmets, two magenta, one tan, and this was from a fan. This is not what I got. Is there anything else that I got? Um, I got two tail armors, both I cheat traded. I got like a tail armor for a tail armor, and then I traded it for a painting. And then I, in the end, I got three Mech Angel helmets, two pieces of the rocker set. I swear I had three. I probably traded it without realizing it. Anyway. So, I got quite a bit of rares in less than, what? Hmm, like, three hours? Because I went two hours for trading and one hour last night. Three hours and I got all this. That is not bad for three hours. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, um, leave a like. Share this to your friends so they don't get scammed while trading. If they have a really good masterpiece, don't let them accept a, like, a rare item Monday or anything. Make them actually want something good for it. Like, a good, an average good one, like, not down to every little detail good one, but pretty good, would be worth, like, a diamond spike wrist which is something I've been trying to trade for lately so once my picture once your pictures get approved by Animal Jam you can do a lot with them and it's worth the wait let me tell you for me it only took like one day even though it says like two weeks it only takes one day just give it a shot it's not bad but one thing you must realize for them in order to approve it it cannot be copyrighted. You cannot just go out and grab like the Mona Lisa and make the Mona Lisa an animal jam. Now you can make like the Mona Lisa with a tiger head. Oh my god, an animal jam Mona Lisa would be so cool. But basically, if you go out and make a like a really, really, really good copy of the Mona Lisa, basically people can sue Animal Jam and say they copyrighted it. So you do not want to do that. And if you do, if you if it does manage to approve it, I would say trade it, trade it away right away, and get the best items because they will remove it from the game. I will warn you, they will probably remove it from the game. If you make a really good masterpiece, trade it away fast. You could probably get at least a black long out of a Mona Lisa. Tra trade it away, get your black long because the painting will be removed from the game. But now this now if you do make really really good paintings, I don't suggest training them away. You should hang them up because it shows off your skills. And the best part I think about paintings is that that it says your name at the bottom and people can actually click your name tag 
and see you in, like damagram compliments on your painting if anyone has it basically all you have to do is click the name tag at the bottom and they'll be able to find you and either like or basically dislike the painting it's really cool I really hope you guys liked this video and if you did please leave a like subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time come off too out bye guys